Hey guys, what's up? Lewin here at GarageBand and beyond. Welcome back. So today I'm going to be making a video, um, you know, because I've been uh, mixing a lot of songs for you guys, a lot of GarageBand projects uh, for my viewers. And if any of you are curious about that, go ahead and there's a link below for GarageBandAndBeyond.com. And you can go over to that website and look for the Mixing Inquiries page and it'll tell you how to do that if you want me to mix your GarageBand project. Anyway, one of the things that I've been seeing a lot pretty much across the board is a problem um, when people are at the very beginning of the recording process, something that's really easy to overlook when you're setting up a new project and you're just sort of like, I just want to get it done and da 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 da, da. So it, today's video is going to be super short, really quick, and I hope you don't care. Um, but when you're setting up your projects, I just want to tell you, it's really essential later in the mixing process. So let's say, you know, here I am, new project window. Here's the acoustic instrument. Let's just hit choose. When you're here in this window, it is very important that you choose the key that you're going to be working in, right? So what I mean is, you know, if you're, you know, going to be using especially the pitch corrector for voice, you absolutely positively want to be using this section before you record. You can't change this after you record. Well, you can change it after you record it, um, but what ends up happening is that it, it thinks whatever you recorded is, like for example, right now, if I recorded something in the key of G, but I told the computer it was in the key of C, it would think, I'm playing in the key of C. So if I wanted to switch the key here, then it would switch it to a completely different key. And it sort of gets complicated and messy and it doesn't do what you want it to do. But I think for most singer songwriters, most people just doing recording bands and on that, that kind of stuff on GarageBand, if you want to be using the auto tuner for voice, you have to have to uh, use your know, setting. The key here is going to just make the auto tuner work a lot better definitely you know you're going to want to set the tempo and all that stuff here you can do it later but setting the key is crucial now if you don't know how to figure out the key of whatever song you're playing this is a big issue and i've sort of been thinking about how can i tell people who don't really have any too much musical education or knowledge so there's a few little tricks um one of them being like if it's a two chord song right if like, for example, if it's like the chords A and G and then A and G and A and G, just pretty much the whole time, or maybe it goes to one other chord one time, it's going to be in the key of A. You know, if it, there's a higher chord, then a lower chord, then a higher chord, um, and that higher chord just starts and keeps coming back, it's going to be that higher chord. If there's a lot of chords and you don't really know exactly which key, chord is going to be you know there more often or not you know definitely you're looking for a chord that's going to be there more than the other ones you know what i mean like if you're playing a e and d but a seems to be there a few more times than the rest of them then it's probably going to be in the key of a you know what i mean there's little tricks you can do like that or you can sit by a keyboard you know and sit there and, uh, next to a piano and just sort of hit the notes the root notes of the chords that of the song and try to just sort of hear if one of those root notes of those however many chords seems to work best through as many of the chords as possible, then that is the key of the song. So there's, you know, lots of different ways to figure out the keys of the song. If you don't even know what chords you're playing, there's ways to do it sort of with your ear. Um, comes with time. Or you can, you know, get lessons from a teacher and they'll teach you how to do it. I'm trying to <laughs> tell you how to do it if you have no idea. Um, if you do have an idea of what you're talking about with keys and stuff, um, make sure you set it. That's all I'm here to say. Make sure you set that and then the, the auto tuner will work a lot better. And um, that's it, you guys. All right. So talk to you later.